Hello guys, this is your spokesman, Jonah Karma Brana, and thank you for coming back to my channel. If you are new, please like and subscribe to the video so that when we upload any future content, you won't have to miss out. Now, today we're going to be talking about how to calculate a net present value using a financial calculator. The one that I have is a Sharp EL738 model. All right, now the first thing that you do this is with all calculations so that previous calculations don't uh, interrupt with the current ones. We first have to clear the memory second function, m clear, then 0, 0. Right. And now the second uh, option, I'm sorry, second step, we have to enter the initial investment of 100,000 into the cash flow memory. So this one is supposed to be entered as a negative because this is an outflow. Uh, we press enter ENT straight into the cash flow memory. Now, the cash flow that we receive should be entered as positive. The first one is uh, 10,000. Enter. Second one is 7,000. Enter. Third one is 12,000. Enter. The fourth one is 19,000. Enter. So now, our option three, we have to go second function cash you see the cash here just above the ci and uh, our rate or our iy is discounted at 10 percent so we just go 10 percent enter like i illustrated on the steps now step four we just press the down button then compute this is the down button the down button and then we're going to compute Right, so as you can see, our net present value is a negative, right? So if you get a negative present value as your answer, that means uh, the, the investment is not something you should pursue. So you don't take the investment option. If it's a positive, that means, yeah, it's worth taking. It can add value to the organization. Uh, that's about it guys. Uh, so if you have any problems with maybe some other calculations or there's something that you did not understand here Please uh, leave some comments on the comment section and uh, tell me what future videos you'd like me to do uh, Thank you and bye-bye uh,